Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend is over. We have made it. It is none other than Monday, August 26, 2013. Welcome to Day 9 Daily number 622, where ordinarily we learn to be a better gamer, but because it's Monday, it's time to dick around. And let me tell you the way in which we're going to dick around. We're going to abandon everything that makes a strategy game strategic. Ordinarily, we think of things like how you open, how you transition, how you exploit particular bits of terrain with specific units to maximize your awesomeness. No, none of that shit. You and an ally of three to four people will only make one unit for the entire game. That's right. I don't mean like you make a unit and you're like, I'm done macroing. I mean like you pick a unit and then you can only build that unit. That is it. Done. So, like, you have to go uh, 4v4 Reapers or 4v4 Hellions. You gotta figure out a way to win. And that's that. So, you know what? You know what? Let me. I'll make sure we have all the fluids within range. Let me... If I could drink this safely, I would. I love it. Everything's within reach. We even have a contact solution. Let me let me let me just clean it up. I think we should just not not mess around with our dicking around. We should take our dicking around quite seriously and hop straight into this first introductory game where we're going to find out what happens in a 4v4 when you and your teammates go for only phoenixes. Now you'll notice <laughs> I got a little excited because I enabled the sound. But, uh, in line with me doing my job. In the bottom right hand corner, we got Teapot. Up in the top, we got Moffy's Snail. We also got Moffy's Sweet Wolf. And then we have Moffy's. Mo well, actually, it's Moffy. Um, that's kind of. It's a little bit vain to name the entire team after yourself. At least. Team 9 is subtle enough to just use part of the name Day 9, right? But, I mean, Moffy himself apparently has been scouting really hard and has decided that Teapot might not really be worth it in his clan. Um, oh, what is my overlay not doing up on here? Come on. Come on. My overlay is gone. That overlay is there. What happened to this overlay? Why is it? I don't know. Let's. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Does that work? No. Oh. Maybe that covered. Well, I don't. I don't know. What do we do? What do we do? Look. Look. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really terribly sorry. But that's okay. I have my green screen on here. This is just, I don't, why is that, why did that not, why isn't it the case that it doesn't? You know what, I, Mondays are hard for everyone. You know, I, a nice restful weekend, I came in, I don't know, I just, I thought the overlay, I don't. Got a case of the Mondays on Monday, you guys. Took maybe a hundred fun day Mondays to get there, but I messed up. And this isn't a hairstyle, is it? This is just this is just a collection of fur up here, man. Brutal. I don't even know. I don't. Yeah, if you're playing the day and drinking game, I don't even know how many how many shots you're supposed to take. Like the overlay is wrong continuously. <sighs> Goodbye, world. Uh, happened on a Monday, but that's okay, guys. We're gonna keep it together. Everything's gonna be okay. You know what? We're even gonna. I wonder if there's a way to... Oh, no. Okay. All right. So we're going to... Okay. Immediate panic. We go to the backup drive. We go to the we go to the horse porn folder, which is where we keep all our materials related to the daily. Don't ask. And especially don't tell. Yes. 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 All right. Let's see if that did it. Let's see if that did it. Hey! Ho! Now, the important thing is that you're wondering, why is that called horse porn? Why would the folder for all your materials related to the Day 9 Daily be called horse porn? Because one day, not because I need it, 
but because I'm going to find it funny, I'm going to give this computer to someone at like a Best Buy or a computer repair shop and be like, I don't know, it's acting slow if you could like fix it. He's going to investigate the backup drive and he's going to see a folder that has like 1.6 terabytes in it and it's called horse porn because all the dailies I've ever done are like on there. Like an obscene amount of horse porn is on this computer as this guy might imagine which is just an unimaginable amount like this means this is like years worth of footage stored on here and he's just like how he i mean even if that's your thing it, you could probably still get by with just a couple of gigabytes but 1.5 fucking terabytes of horse porn now no one uses this computer except me but i arrange my life to giggle constantly. So of course, when I'm like, oh my god, total panic, my overlay isn't showing up in the daily. No problem, let me just go to the horse porn folder and then I'm like, <laughs> and now the overlay is fixed and I feel double happy. It's also the same reason uh, why every single time I'm, you know, being in the bathroom, I try to do the YMCA and I like, you know, do disco moves because suddenly it's a game and there's a loss condition missing. Now don't tell my roommates this, don't tell my roommates this, but the day is a lot more fun as a result. Let's hop into this introductory game. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> Alright, now if we're going, if we're going to be going Phoenix, let's be honest. We gotta get that wall off going. ASAP. Uh, oh, well, down to I forgot to introduce the the enemies we have. Tac Bic, nu Numero Eight. <laughs> we have we have a meth lab, who you just you really shouldn't shake. Jono Eel, and Tac Bic Salibi. I'm really pleased with Team Sac Bic because they have some really extreme names. Hey Salibi, what's up Numero Eight? <laughs> oh. The the tactic tactics hopefully gonna be kicking into gear. Looks like uh, Meth Lab can't not let everyone know that he absolutely has complete command over the control hockey setups. He's using one four and five as far as we know. So you know to 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 go effectively for Phoenix, you're gonna have to get a lot of Nexi up. Uh, you know you're probably noticing that I don't have a production tab up. That's because. We have just so much data up in these tabs. Like, how do you look at the spending tab or the, are the even the Linux loss tab is extreme. I mean, I know it's a bunch of zeros, but that's going to take a while to process that. And I mean, this is this is, we just no, nope, not a chance. We have to stick with standard cliches. Not a lot of numbers. Very clear presentation and a romance that happens between two people more attractive than anyone you've met in real life. Photoshop and CGI have made them that attractive, and that's what appeals to your average moviegoer, as well as the game goer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and learn those lessons here. Ah, delicious. So, in the meantime, it looks like Sweet Wolf has made a sweet wall off with the help of all his friends. Now, if I actually turn off the coloring, you can see that it's a little bit of everyone. But Meth Lab seems to have found a weak point. Oh, he's re-walled off, or has he? And this is where the Mega Mana Battles crisis begins. This is what made this a challenging challenge. Good luck, Moffy Moffy. Come on, Moffy Moffy. He's getting a cybernetics core in production. We have an incomprehensible amount of information. And now the speed is done. Okay, it's going to be probes versus links. All right, come on, get there. We got we got everybody's probes. We got teapot. In fact, if we turn this off, we actually have three players' probes going on here. We have Moffy's probes. We have Teapot's probes going on here. I think there was another player hiding somewhere in there. Actually, this is the purple player's probes. What is he? He is going all the way down there. This is commitment. I like it. This is the sort of thing that you do only because you are deeply aware of how totally boned you are at this point in time. Now, uh, Numero 8 is doing the smart thing, getting ready for... Uh, is this a can of, is this uh well, you know, it's just, it's a scout pylon. In case any structures get built over there, he'll see them. So Meth Lab's link, it's turned into a pile of physics. Which, by the way, like, 
To make sure I don't overdo the encoder, I tend to not have everything on ultra, but physics is at extreme, man. There is not a chance in a million years that I am not going to have that at extreme, man. The physics are what make the game. Like, if I went to be all hotshot pro gamer, first of all, I'd have to play on like a 4x3 CRT monitor, because the, the more antiquated your equipment setup, obviously the more cool. I would probably want one of those like not a mechanical keyboard, which everyone goes for, but we're talking like a like a spring and lock mechanisms. You know, the old the old ones that were on like the 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 386 computers. It'd be like, sh -ping! and if you're playing on that, well, let's let's go all out and have like a bubble monitor and let's burn everything onto not a not a floppy drive. It's a little bit old, but what about one of those hundred megabyte zip drives? That would be pretty sweet. And that's how I show up at the tournament. And if you lose. You look like a complete idiot, but if you win, you just create a whole new industry of spring lock keyboard keycaps being manufactured en masse. This is always an important rule across everything in life. If you wear a silly outfit and are really good at something, then it's a pretty cool outfit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you're not good at anything, stay neutral. Like seriously, just buy brand name. Just wear that, that's fine. Wear your belt on your pants and your tie around your neck. Don't put it in any other place. Don't wear your tie as like a bracelet. Unless you are extremely good at something kind of weird. Like music, music works good. Uh, gaming is fine. Uh, if you're really good at yo-yo, now, now it's a little dicey, right? If you're a good yo-yo person, you can't make an outfit cool. You can just be good at yo-yo. Actually, stick with brand name shirts if you're wearing a yo-yo. I think that's... Or if you're, you know, thing in with a yo-yo and you're quite talented at yo-yoing. Um, basically, I think the point of all this is it's tough to, to be a yo-yoer. Or maybe not. Maybe you're a, a yoloer. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh-oh. If we're going all Phoenix, in the production tab we see no Phoenixes in production. That's enough to parse. Do 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 do. Numero 8. Oracle has run out of juice. And now, uh, Team Mafi, with the help of Teapot, are going to be stepping into something a little cool. Something a little bit kick-ass. Something that defines the Mega Mana battle. The Phoenix. Now, the reason we chose this as the introductory game is because it gives you a good sense of how the Mega Mana battle can go. Well, you know, a couple of stalkers. We're trying to get a little momentum. Looks like our enemies down in the bottom corner have only just begun to really goop up on their side of the map, but... Ooh, picking up a little bit at a time. Oh, yeah. Get him. No, he's not going to get him. You want to build turrets? That's fine if you want to build anti-air defense. Because the, the solution to anti-air is to build just way too much air. Attack big numero eight. He's trying to do his absolute cleverest job of taking the gold expos, but... In the unit counting station, we see that there's uh, a little over 20 phoenixes on the map. This is good. Sweet Wolf, who just kind of abandoned all hope and sent his probes out to defend early on. A little bit low on the phoenix count right now, but... Um, these bros certainly do lift. Yeah. Oh look, there is Aspore Crawler, and he is trying to make Hydralisks and Stalkers, whereby he can perhaps kill our stuff off? No. No. No, not a chance. Nope. Probe tries to build a pylon. Don't you dare build a pylon there. I mean, seriously, these are like bully phoenixes. This is like, you know, the insecure 19-year-old thug. Where someone's eating an orange on his block. He's like, you can't eat an orange on my street. I run this bitch. No fruit allowed. Only vegetables. He eats vegetables and fruit all the time. But, you know, he's got he's got to play the part. So let's go ahead and lift a probe. Let's spend 50 energy just to show off that we're part of the team. All right, at some point we get low on energy. We got to, no, well, you know, may as well just frivolously throw on a couple of links. Now, in this production, I want you to note that we got, we got a lot of anti-air coming out by these bottom sides. We got the Hydras. A Banshee's a little bit silly, uh, but we got some Marines. Some more probes being made. Can never be bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if we select one of these, it actually has the 1-0 upgrades. In production, we see a lot of upgrades coming from everyone. We got the Anion Pulse Crystals. 
The units lost has quite a bit for Team Blue, and not nearly as much for Team Red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, part of me needs to stop and just note that these guys can't lift buildings, so they can't actually make a lot of progress. Um, it's, uh... I really feel like it's the equivalent of being in third or fourth grade, being like, ew, girls have cooties, ah. And that'll only get you so far, you might get an endorphin thrill, but certainly no one is going to talk to you. You can't be like an 18-year-old at college and be like, yeah, do you want to hang out sometime? Pfft, no, you've got cooties. Totally owned. Not going to really swing well on the dating scene. So these guys, uh, they, they, can, they can lift. Bro, they seriously lift, but some things cannot be lifted. So we got Meth Lab taking the beatdowns. So how, are, how is our heroic phoenixing group going to be dealing with the fact that they actually can't lift any buildings? I would argue, in my, in my sort of interesting and unique Day 9 way, that it just doesn't really matter. Does it really matter? Maybe they do have cooties. You know what I mean? You just can, you can never be, you know... Who knows? Well, actually, they'll probably build cannons. So this is sort of a dangerous moment. This is the most dangerous game for these Banshees. Oh, running out of energy. They have their friends. And of course, down the bottom side. This is just starting to become extremely fun to watch. And it's, it's, it's only Tacbeck, Numero 8, and Meth Lab who are getting wailed on. Uh, Joe Neal... Uh, not going to make any Thors, which of course can't be lifted by Phoenixes. Not going to do that at all. No reason really to do that. Now, I actually want to note that I think our... I think Sweet Wolf is just... He's just giving people money. Isn't this just... Isn't this just rewarding? <laughs> what happens... If you build Hydras, and they build Phoenixes, and then they keep building Phoenixes, how do you counter too much of a good thing? You don't. You give in. You switch to Protoss. You start building Phoenixes. Oh. You know, this is really... This is not even a match. This is just a joyful face stomping. A precursor to the back-and-forth, poorly executed games that will be coming up. And thusly, we get a chance to see Fun Day Monday in real action. A mass phoenixing player, a mass phoenixing player, a mass phoenixing player, and a guy who builds cannons are going to be going up versus a clearly anti-air force. Marines, Hydralisks. His base can't be lifted, but, you know, it's fine. We can cannon rush it. Cannon rushing working just fine up here. And when push comes to shove in the final confrontation, doth thusly begin. We're in a little bit of a rough position. Okay, alright, good. We got some of our attacking set up. Alright, perfect. We gotta contain. And in the units lost tab. <laughs> Leaves mid battle. Salibi. Trying to hang in there. It doesn't feel very good. <laughs> what on earth in the hell? Yes. This honestly reminds me of when I hear about someone owning like five cars. Like. You can't drive five cars at the same time. It seems not to make any sense to me, but there are times, I guess, like this, where I can, I can, I can understand having a gross over excess of a good thing. Um, now, there's some combinations or some compositions that won't actually function very well. So I want to hop into one of those because Phoenixing, I think, is cool. Uh, they won with mass Phoenixes, but what happens when we're a team that goes mass Widow Mine? Let's hop into things. I'm going to be watching five games today. Normally, I try to avoid the asides. Uh, <laughs> but 
or normally I try to permit myself to go on the sides, but we got to be careful today because these games are just so good. We have 787 Dark Fox. We got Straight Fox with a PH. We got 787 Tarlock and the Paramount. They're going to be going only Widow Mine. They're going to be going only Widow Mine. Mass Widow Mine. And down in the bottom right, we got Shirka Oski, Mike. And Jock. What is with these extremely short names? Like, there's so many full syllable names. And of course, in the APM tab, we see that Straight Fox is Straight Try Hard. Look at everyone calmly sitting down. It or they, They're doing a, a couple actions a minute. And Straight Fox is just like, we're going to be fine, alright? I got the APM and the mines to prove it. I like Tarlock, who occasionally just is not doing anything. Now, these opening phases of the game are not going to be particularly noteworthy. We're going to see these players all just tech up to their minds nice and fast. Straight Fox will do it the fastest because he's trying the absolute hardest. He's a high APM pro gamer in 4v4 Mega Mana Battles of Funday Monday circumstances, but then, oh shit. Oh my god, three Reapers. I mean, Drilling Claws are already getting, already getting snatched up by Dark Fox, but then, oh my god. Set, get the mines there. Get the mines over there! Burrow the mines! Burrow the mines! Re return to mining! Return to mining! Return to Get the mines there! Get the mines up there, gentlemen! Get the mines up there! Okay. Alright, there's four, and... Alright, uh... Surround with the... Where are the mines? No! No! We had a chink in the defense! Oski! Is moving in. Straight Fox, get the mines. Would you get the mines? Alright, pull off the SCVs. Send the SCVs back to mine. Get the mines in there. Pull off the SCVs! I mean, the orders that all these units are getting is just insane. Quickly, mine minerals! Get off the minerals! Mine minerals! Fucking get off the minerals! And Oski now, going, oh my god, quickly, get the mines in position. The units lost to, oh my god, it's just devastating. The kill count on these two, four... I can't even click accurately because these units are so fast. Alright, here it comes. Here comes the serious mine pack. Oh my god. Look, even... Ambulances are coming to help Team Blue. There's been too many losses. They're freaking out. The city of Los Angeles is erupting with drama right now. Oh my god, the screeching! Gets... Oh yeah! Dark Fox! That was some significant damage, though. All right, police seems to have faded away right in sync with the safety of our mass mining player. It's time to bring the noise. Let's do a little mine prevention. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little mass expanding. Jock, that meathead, is throwing down an expansion. What a fool! All right, we have the hexagon wrench formation up here underneath the, the hexagonal dog bone. All right, and well, this is well, this is walled off, and the other entrance is uh, well, I guess here, but really the other entrance is this. So uh, well, they can't get through here ever. Hmm. When we come back, we're going to see if our Mass Widow Mining players have any plan to be able to do anything at all.